hey guys good afternoon and welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great listen not today please not today so guys as you can see i'm in my kitchen why is this thing getting too bright and too dark anyways <laughs> okay so um i'm in the kitchen i'm making bitter leaf soup i wanted to film a recipe for this soup but guys you guys don't know what goes on behind the camera of filming a recipe behind the scenes of filming a recipe it's a lot a lot so i decided not to film it anymore when you are watching the video it it looks very simple and uh, enjoyable but a lot goes into filming a recipe and i'm not ready for that now so i'll be showing you here and there what um the way i'm making it what i'm adding i guess that's the only way i can get this done without filming a separate recipe and as i'm cooking my pots are already on fire there you can see them i'm cooking and i'm also watching a uh, lily pop lily pop tv yeah so come on let's let's see what i'm making over here i'm boiling my cocoa yam which is ede over here <laughs> oh my days i've forgotten that i have coffee in this thing so my ede is boiling over here and that's my meat no that's the meat there not my meat you can see it over there so what i like to do is these days I, in order to be on the safer side i like to boil the meat for about five minutes pour away the water wash it thoroughly and then i start cooking you know because <laughs> these days we are trying to be more careful okay so i've done all of that right now i'm starting to cook the meat and uh, i've not added any ingredients yet i'm yet to add those <laughs> this woman is funny she said Igbo women can cook and the uh, Dera's vlog or Dera's some something made abasha <laughs> and she's using the abacha to do her long throat I'm sorry guys I'm listening with <laughs> I'm listening with my earpod <laughs> but she's so funny hey please can you come this side go this side bye bye my kids have all gone to school and hobby came back from work he has gone to sleep <coughs> it's just me and blessing nobody to hold her for me so please you guys this this uh, tripod might be shaking a lot in this video i don't know i'm even confused i don't even know what i'm doing anymore so to the meat i'll be adding my seasoning cubes two of these inside this one now we have two you can see two already in my hand you can see we have two here so in total i have four i hope you guys can see You will fall down, oh, you will fall down. I think she's hungry. Let me feed her first and then I will be back, okay? Done. Let's see if she can give me some space. Are you okay now? Are you okay? Okay guys, I'm back and um, as you guys saw, I've already added the um, seasoning cube 
and I forgot to add my fish which is over there inside that red bowl so I'm going to add the fish and then I'll continue adding the rest of the ingredients I'm done watching a uh, lily poop and now I'm watching a uh, yummy mommy life I like to watch and support these youtubers especially when I'm you know doing stuff like this if I'm cooking or doing something around the house that's when I like put on their videos you know to kind of support them because they support me as well okay let's add the fish I know this video might be you know everywhere like <laughs> not coordinated but you guys please try and gather one or two things from this video this is not a detailed recipe on how to make bitter leaf soup i don't know if i've mentioned it before in this video but i'm making bitter leaf soup so if you want a detailed recipe on how to make bitter leaf soup just um type in in the search bar bitter leaf soup fantastic favor it will pop up i have about two or three videos on that so this is just me showing showing you guys behind the scenes of how i'm making my soup this is the only way i can get this recipe out of the way without getting frustrated of having to set the camera making it perfect making everywhere look so nice and neat no this is just behind the scenes so you get to see everything i get frustrated whenever i want to film a recipe i will have to clean i will have to arrange i will have to bring out all the ingredients arrange them make them look nice in the eyes when you are watching the video you know set the pot so that it will be on the perfect angle like you guys a lot goes into filming a recipe you will not even understand only recipe creators or recipe content creators will understand what i'm saying so i think this is the only way i can do this without thinking of all of those let me bring out my banga i'll be using banga instead of um, palm oil for this recipe so this is the brand I normally use praise okay we are going to wash this and open it I like to wash the top because it has gone many places so I like to wash it before I open it up now let's add salt I'm going to be boiling some hot water for washing the fish my dry fish I want to add some dry fish to this what else what else what else what else let me bring out my pepper um, my scotch bonnet in the freezer here can you see yeah. um, I'll be using two just two because this thing is spicy by the way I'm using a um, um, bomo which is cow skin. I'm also using tripe, which is a uh, shaki. I'm also using um, sheep meat. Is do they call it sheep meat or what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I'm using mackerel as well. That is that sheep meat. Sheep. Do you call it sheep meat or is there any other name you guys call it? Like the meat of sheep. it is so tasty you guys so tasty if you haven't tried it try it i don't know if it tastes way better than goat meat i don't know i can't really compare but it tastes nice so that's what i have in my pot here i'm sorry the lighting keeps going brighter and darker 
that is because of the setting I'm using okay and I'm not in the mood to come and <coughs> start to resetting this now let's manage it like that my hot water will soon boil and then I will use it to wash the fish so here is my dry fish and I will also be adding some crayfish as well the crayfish we bought or brought from Nigeria has finished so I usually buy from the African store which I showed you guys I think two to three weeks ago so that's where we bought this one and I'm going to be using half of it because this is too much for this pot of soup I'll be using half so here is the fish I'm going to add some in the bowl um, let's add more. my hot water has boiled so, hey oh have you seen it i'm not asking you i'm asking my viewers please i'm begging you she has refused to stay in her stroller now she wants to walk around just pour hot water over the fish make sure the hot water is covering the fish make sure it's covering the fish and then set that aside so we are going to allow that to sit for about five minutes so that it gets rid of all the nyama nyama way stick for the fish <laughs> way stick on top of the fish <laughs> my cocoyam will soon be done and then uh, it's time to it's time to blend the pepper and the crayfish actually i have i have half uh, remaining the half i used some days back this is the other one so i'll be using this one instead of opening the other one and i'll be blending it together with the peppers you can add peppers according to how spicy you like your food i actually have some stock fish here but you guys i don't really like stock fish i'm not a fan of stock fish but i do use it sometimes once in a very long while in my cookings i don't know i just remembered it now and i'm like let me add a little in this soup to give it that kind of um, local flavor and taste i'm going to select from the small small ones so that they can melt easily i should have done this earlier but i didn't plan to use it anyways so this is the size this is the size you can see they are not big at all i have about a handful like so so I'm going to pour it inside the hot water with the other fish and allow this to soak. I'm probably not showing you guys all of this from a from a good angle but just like I said this is just behind the scenes please manage all the angles okay and the shakiness of this video because blessing is behind the camera all right let's blend the peppers and the crayfish here is my blender wash the peppers and the crayfish of course all right so i've washed them and i added some water you can see the quantity of water i added and now it is time to blend <laughs> yes just roughly blended and then we'll pour inside the meat the pot of meat
rinse the blender because nothing goes to waste <laughs> oh, nothing goes to waste to oh, my brothers and sisters things are expensive now so we got to make very good use of them all right i'm going to add the banga right now <laughs> So this is what it looks like because we are in cold weather the thing just blocked there but when we are in summer period it doesn't block like this it's it's a bit melted and you will see the oil floating on top of it so i'm just going to scoop maybe like about two spoons you know yes so this is what i have left mm. It's already smelling when we have not even started. Oh, I forgot to blend my ogiri obey with the crayfish and the peppers. Oh my dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sometimes I just forget. Hmm? Okay guys, here is the ogiri. What do you guys call this in your your dialects we call it ogirio bay this is the amount i'll be adding just throw it in there it will dissolve on its own blessing just fell down now <laughs> and she has been shouting on top of her voice so i just carried her and she's no longer crying but on carrying her i noticed that she pooped yes i'm sorry this is too much info but i'm going to go change her and then i'll be back that is it <laughs> it's not even funny it's not even funny i'm coming so guys this is how the kokoyam looks and so to peel it you just you know go like this it's very easy to peel and then throw in your blender make sure you pour pour cold water over it because it's very hot <laughs> okay so this is the amount of water i've got and this is to help the kokoyam blend well doesn't take time to blend so let's set this aside we are here to use it and now I'm going to wash the fish and the stock fish and pour inside the pot I've washed
come closer guys can you see that oil floating on top i didn't add any oil to this so this one is coming straight from the banga you can see the oil floating on top okay we are going to cover this and allow it to cook for 10 minutes 10 more minutes before i add the cocoa yam so while the soup is cooking over there we are going to go ahead to boil our bitter leaf this is the one i'm using we bought this from african store as well And I have two of those. So we are going to allow this to boil and then wash it thoroughly. Oh my days, you guys. If you see how everywhere is smelling, you know that very nice bitter leaf aroma. <gasps> that is how my house is smelling right now. Anyways, you are going to be adding the cocoa yam paste. I've not even added the bitter leaf, so, but the soup is already smelling so nice. Can you see that? Very smooth. And we are adding everything you know, because this soup is plenty. Mm, scrape, scrape, scrape. <laughs> we are scraping off everything. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Now we are going to allow this to boil. Once it starts boiling, we will then wash the bitter leaf and add to it. The thing will dissolve on its own. I mean the coconut. <laughs> the cocoa paste will dissolve on its own, okay? Set the heat to medium and allow it to boil. Can you guys see how dirty that water is? Not like it's dirty, but that's the color of the bitter leaf. And that is the bitterness going out right there, you know. <laughs> that is how I see it. <laughs> I love this, um, this people's bitter leaf. I love it, but the only thing I don't like about it is, uh, is that it's very tiny. I don't know if they blended it or what. Like... Look, you can see how tiny they look. I love that long ones, but it's hard to find those ones here. So we got to make use of the ones we see. Make sure you wash it very well and then squeeze out the living daylight out of it. <laughs> So as to get rid of the bitter taste. You see our two packs of bitter leaf. Can you see what we've got? <laughs> so I'm done washing it right now. We are going to go straight to the pot and pour everything. Hmm. You can see the the cocoyam paste has dissolved here. You don't need to dissolve it by yourself. It will automatically do that by itself. And add the bitter leaf. Blessing, can you stop hitting that on the floor, please? Your daddy is sleeping. My goodness. 
goodness guys this soup is literally done so i'm going to leave this to simmer for two minutes or three minutes and the soup is done can you see how this bitter leaf looks please ignore this <laughs> ignore that okay yeah so we have come to the end of this video i don't want it to tarry for so long because i'm running out of memory right now i have unedited videos in this memory card which i don't want to delete okay so i'm going to be ending this video here but basically you can see my pot is still on fire there it's still simmering i told you guys we should allow it to simmer for two to three minutes and then i'll take it down all right so i have to be very fast because i have less than three minutes to end this vlog okay i hope you guys enjoyed this cook with me video or behind the scenes i don't even know what i should title this video to be honest but anyways by the time you are watching this video i should have figured out the title for this video right yeah so um i'll see you guys in my next video give this video a thumbs up if you truly enjoyed it and let me know if you like behind the scenes like this share this video if you find it helpful subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys I'll, i shall see you all in my next video right now i'm beginning to be a bit excited i'm getting a bit excited because i have soup in the house in an african home when you don't have soup it's as if you don't have anything in your house so right now i have soup i feel like i'm complete <laughs> anyways see you guys in my next video bye if you like this video don't forget to click on the like button if you're new to my channel please click on the red subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my latest upload